video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use uh, Google's Colab Research uh, tool to create a new notebook. Um, in that notebook, we will look at some sample data using the Pandas package in Python. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is you can go to colab.research.google.com. Now you may need to um, sign in, so just make sure you do that. Um, make sure that you're signed into your Google account before you do that and then the screen should appear. Now the nice thing is you can create a new notebook. Um, it will remember the notebooks that you've created. So I had some things that I've created in the past here. Um, and once you've created those notebooks, uh, they should show up or be available to you. But as an added measure, you can save them to your Google Drive or copies of them. And especially when you're working with new data sets, um, you'll want to save those to your Google Drive as well. Uh, so let's get started. We're going to just create a new notebook. And that'll load up real quick here for us. And then up here in the left uh, side of the screen, you're just going to want to give it a name. So we'll call ours uh, a demo. Okay. Now the nice thing is they provided some uh, some content here. So if you click on this, this will give you the table of contents. Um, so as you create um, new notebooks, you might have some text uh, to organize your netbook. So we'll say uh, and this will be uh, how to read in a data set using pandas and it'll pop up over there so when you do that you just hit shift enter and there now you have the markdown showing how to read uh, in a data set using pandas um, so then over here on the left you can do a find and replace um, they have some information about the variables in your uh, notebook and then this file folder here will show you the different files so if we if we double click the, the files, you can see that you can upload files. Now, you can upload a file during your session, but if you end the session, um, that data will be lost. So what you might want to do is um, uh, connect to uh, Google Drive, and you can mount uh, a Google Drive to this. Um, there will be steps, um, which I'll cover in another video on how to do that. Um, but for now, we're going to just work with the sample data just to demonstrate how pandas works. Um, this other option here just shows any hidden files that you might have. Now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to expand the sample data. Um, and then they've provided this uh, California housing test uh, CSV file and train CSV file. They also have the MNIST data say, sets in here. Um, those are, you know, if you're wanting to do um, machine learning to uh, identify uh, like n numbers it's a it's a data set of numbers um, and graphics that you can look at <clears throat> and uh, there's a lot of demonstrations out there about uh, how to uh, uh, use computer vision and uh, some of the algorithms that are associated with that um, but today we're going to just start out simple and reading in this California housing data set. So let's find out what's in the data set. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to um, import pandas and we'll give it an alias. So you do that by saying as pd. And then um, so the, the pandas uh, package is imported. Now the nice thing is we didn't have to install a package. Uh, a lot of packages may not be available to you. Um, like already preloaded or installed um, so you will have to do that and I will show you that as well um, in coming videos um, but for now they've they've uh, Google has provided you uh, the pandas package pre-installed with these uh, research notebooks so all we really have to do is just import uh, pandas so the the what we want to do is we want to read these CSV files so pandas has a has a package to um, or in the package it allows you to have a, a function uh, that uh, read, read underscore CSV that allows us to, to do that. So let's go ahead and first we'll give um, our data frame which is what we're going to call the data set as we uh, import it in. Um, we'll call it DF. That's pretty standard across uh, lots of training. 
Um, once you do that, you set that equal to pd.read csv because we alias the package to, of pandas to pd. And then you want to open parentheses. Um, and then we'll put some single quotes in to hold our uh, directory. And then it should be separated by commas. Um, you don't have to specify this if it's a comma separated, but if it's any other kind of delimiter, you'll want to sp uh, specify this. Okay, so what we want to do is get, um, we'll look at the training data set first, and we want to get the um, path, um, and the easiest way to do that is just to right click and then copy path. And once you do that, you can click in here and right click and should be able to paste that cell so or paste that content so we can do this actually control V will do that for you very easily now um, you'll notice that uh, the path is content and then in the sample data file and then the actual file name so once we have that in there we'll just go ahead and do shift hold down the shift key hit enter and that runs the cell for you you could also have clicked this play button as well but the keyboard sh shortcuts just shift enter and that's pretty standard in most Jupyter notebooks and um, this that's what this seems to be based off of okay so now once you have your data frame loaded and you know it ran because it has this little check mark here you can start to um, explore what's in your uh, data frame so one way we could do that is just to do a quick um, head command and that'll give you the first five rows of the data set. So we can see that we have a longitude, a latitude, housing, median age, total rooms, total bedrooms, population, households, median income, and then um, if we want to we can slide over and then we also have the median house value. So quite a bit of data here and now what we want to do is maybe we want to see um, what the, the data types are for these. So you could do DF, D types, and it'll tell you that all of these are um, these columns are floats. If you want to access the columns of the the data frame, you can do that by just doing df.columns and running that shift enter again, and that gives you your array of column names. Um, another thing that you can do is you can um, run a describe statement which will give you kind of like a data data audit and it'll allow you to look at um, a little bit more information get some uh, descriptive statistics about your data so we can just do df describe and then if you had um, non numeric data in there you'll want to do something called include equals all and then it gives you um, information about your data. So it gives you a count, gives you the mean, the standard deviation, the min, uh, the 25th percentile, 50th percentile, 75th percentile, and maximum. Um, it, let's say that you, um, you want to create this as a data frame and you want to transpose it so that you have your um, stats as your columns and then each one of these uh, columns as uh, rows to make uh, a little bit more easier to interpret especially that would come in handy if you have a lot of data so we'll do that real quick and then we'll end the video for uh, this content <clears throat> okay so to do that we'll just call this data audit and then we'll set that equal and we'll make it a data frame by doing PD data and you want to capitalize the D and the F and then we'll add a closing parenthesis and then to transpose it we just add a dot T and then uh, once we uh, do that we'll want to view it so we can just type in data audit to view it and now you can see that it's been transposed so you now you have your statistics going across the top and your um, 
uh, variables going down the bottom. And you're, you can see in the kind of the different um, values that are in your data. Um, so that's how we, um, you know, open up a no new notebook in Google Colab. Um, again, if you wanted to save this, you could save it to your uh, save a copy to your drive. Um, but for the most part, it should save your work. Um, you could always do Control S just to to make sure, and it'll tell you that it's saved successfully. So in our next videos, we'll we'll work with uh, data frames a little bit more and learn how to uh, add columns to this data audit. Uh, I really feel like it's a great tool to kind of get to know what's in your data sets as you uh, progress in your career in data analytics and data science. That's going to be a critical thing to, to kind of understand what's in your data sets and uh, descriptive statistics are a great way to get started and understand that.